the models don't really fit reality very well, okay? You have to tweak them a lot. There's a lot you have to be careful about. Things aren't stable enough. You know, there's, there's a lot of things involved when you're, when you're doing it practically. At the same time, the work on chaos theory, which had been developing through the 70s and fractals, became somewhat known because of Gleick's book. And I read, mm-hmm. when I read Gleick's book, I thought, oh, well, here's, maybe this is what we're looking for, <laughs> you know, the nonlinear stuff. And so I went on a crash course of my own, self-study, okay, mm-hmm. to to learn about fractals and chaos. And I read just about everything I could and a lot of time down in the MIT basement, finding old journal articles and stuff like that. And I did some analysis on it, which showed up in the Financial Analyst Journal. And to make it more widespread, when I was asked to write the book, I was lucky enough that an editor at Wiley saw me giving a talk. I thought it would be good because it would, it would give practitioners. I originally wrote the book for practitioners, so right. it's not a textbook, so that practitioners would be familiar with the ideas and they wouldn't have to slog through all the physics papers that I was reading. 